Hi guys, welcome back to my weekly readings. This is Riza here. I trust you guys are having a wonderful weekend. You had a great time on Easter. Um, as you can tell, the background is a little different on my video today as I am visiting my son. Um, I did have a grandchild, a new grandchild, so I came to visit my loved ones. And you probably can guess already that the channeled message is learning to appreciate some of the miracles, the gifts that are all around us all of the time. And we don't we don't take time to notice them or appreciate them the way that we should because they're fleeting moments basically in our lives and we need to appreciate them because it seems with all the struggles and everything that's going on in the world, um, we tend to notice more the negative things that are going on than we do the positive things. And that, that energy on a global level, on an unconscious level, is what keeps us um, not feeling to our, to our best, you know, our, our optimal best, or cheerful, or happy most of the time we tend to overlook some of the things that are truly, truly important. Uh, when we see something that isn't um, to our liking or something that could turn out to be a potentially hazardous situation or dangerous or perhaps even very painful for the people that we love, we look the other way sometimes because we don't want to get involved. Uh, we don't want to upset anyone. We don't have time. We're so busy with all of this other stuff that that we put before our, our eyes instead of looking at the simple things in life, at the miracles that occur on a daily basis, the sun rising, the beautiful ocean, um, the sand, the grass, the flowers, our family members, our children, our grandchildren, our parents that struggled so very hard. They had their own lessons to learn and no one is perfect and we need to we need to see that and we need to try to help more the people around us. We need to try to become their counselors or try to help. I mean, I know we can only do so much and we really can't interfere in their lives that much, but we can at least try to help and um, become involved a little bit more in what's going on around us with our families, with our community, the children, the people that are struggling and give them a hand. Um, Buy them a burger, shake their hand, give them a hug, heal them, heal the people that are within your home, in your circle, heal them, touch their hearts somehow, because you, you don't know how desperate they may be just for a hug or, or a kiss on the cheek or I appreciate you, I love you. Those are the little things that we tend to overlook in our busy lives on a daily basis that we need to start doing nowadays. Um, even if there's no nothing in return, no reciprocal uh, love or because they're also struggling on such a, a level that they can't even appreciate what you have just done for them. But eventually they will. They'll look back on it and you'll know in your heart of hearts that you did what you could. And it enlightens you, you know, in many ways. Okay. The messages from our angels today is that it's a good time to start new things in your life. The new ideas that you're getting are divinely sent to you and you need to start taking steps in that direction in order to make them a reality. You're being watched over by your guardian angel and they are trying to lead you. There's several cards here on the table that that are suggesting that, that they're trying to help you, they're guarding and they're protecting you during the changes that you're going to be experiencing within the next coming months, just so that you can better line yourself up with your divine life purpose. You need to have more faith as well and hope in the future and the things that you are trying to manifest or the ideas that you are getting because it is divinely sent 
and there is something new and positive on the horizon. You can't see it yet, but it's already forming. It's a seed. It's those seeds that are planted in our minds by our guides, by our angels, by the people that have passed already, our family members, our loved ones that are trying to help guide us. And they'll plant that tiny little seed, and then we have to be the ones to dig the hole, put the seed in the ground and water it and tend to it every single day, baby steps, baby thoughts, and eventually you will achieve that little dream, that little desire, that, that your own business, that job, the career, what have you. For all of us is different. The family, the new addition to the family, a marriage, a relationship, children, grandchildren, all of these things are going to happen in your lives. You just need to have more faith and start moving towards them each and every day. There will be small victories. Your desires are coming true. Keep up the good work. Do not give up. You're being asked to counsel others in your home, in your environment, people perhaps at work. There may be someone in your lives that needs your help. You are learning. You are growing spiritually. And you need to also show others. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to tell others of your beliefs or what you feel. Perhaps just throw it in there like you know, as a matter of fact type of situation so they don't think that you're preaching or uh, trying to convert them into a nun or what, you know, people have ideas, but um, you can just, you know, throw your thoughts in there in conversation every now and then, just a little, again, a little seed here and there, okay, because you can help others awaken to their own spirituality, to their own divine self, they need to, we need to raise the, the, the conscious level for everyone around us. Eventually things will change, but we need to start little by little. Archangel Raphael has come to us this week to say, hey, I'm with you. I'm helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others, as we all have healing gifts in one way or another, and we need to start waking them up. We need to start using them on a daily basis so that we can become more accustomed to the energy, to pulling the energy from the ground, down from the heavens, and using it like a channel. We're all channels of healing energy. We need to wake them up in ourselves. Your guardian angel as well is trying to lead you towards the answers to your prayers. Please listen. Follow the steps follow the divine guidance that's being given to you they're communicating to you through your intuition through your dreams your thoughts music uh, words from others i know i say this a lot in my videos but the angels keep saying it and if i pull a card that tells me so then that's another thing that it just reiterates you know the message that we're not listening to our guidance and if we keep not listening after a while they stop talking you know and then you once you hit the wall enough times or you're laying down in the ground and saying oh my god i can't get any lower what is going on it's because you didn't listen to your guidance so they let you just you know do your own thing they still love you they still try to help but they're not going to give you the guidance anymore until you ask for it until you reach from the bottom of your soul and it's, a, and it's a hard place, and I know, I, I say it because I've been there many times. When you don't listen to your guidance, it stops. And then eventually, you'll have to pull it back out from wherever you have to pull it so they can start helping again because they figure if you're not going to listen, then we'll just let you do. You have free will. You have free will all of the time. But you do ask for things constantly as well. There's always that chatter that's going on in your mind and you're asking for things. There's prayer. Those thoughts are all prayers. They're all manifestation that, that can or cannot come to fruition. It just depends on how you ask it. It depends on if you follow your guidance. And if you don't follow the guidance that's being given to you by your divine uh, group, you know, your guides, your angels, the people that are around you, then how can you manifest what you want? They're trying really hard. You just need to follow the steps that they're giving you in order to achieve your dreams. 
you need to spend more time surrounded by family and loved ones this is going to be a time perhaps this week where you will be spending more time with your family with children with grandchildren whatever it is you consider family it could be your friends that you love like family but you're going to be spending some good times with them you're going to be celebrating something this week with your friends there will be a youngster either a child a grandchild a friend that that speaks of a new idea, perhaps a new path. Again, it could be words that come out of a babe's mouth that's divinely guided by an angel. So listen to the people around you. It could be someone that you work with. It could be someone older than yourself, but yet they have a young heart. They have ideas. They, they're very creative. So a creative thought may even come to you through your guides. Try to follow that. Try to follow that, um, that thought. You will be working very hard to achieve your dreams, to achieve this thought or this little seed that your guides are planting in your mind this week. But it will bring about a huge transformation in your life. It will bring balance. It will bring what you are asking for. Be a little patient and know that you're going to have to work very hard. You're going to have to eliminate a lot of things in your life that are not serving a purpose anymore. There's going to be some difficult changes, but not impossible. It will bring the order and the grounding, it will bring the stability into your lives that you have been asking for. Perhaps even a new person may step into your lives as well in order to help you achieve these dreams. You'll need to be very strong. You'll need to open up your fourth chakra. That is the heart chakra. You need to open up to more love around you. You have blocked your heart somehow and you need to open it up a bit more. Maybe it's not completely blocked. Maybe you've been working on it and it's opening up, but there's still more love. You still have to give more love in order to receive the love that you're asking for. There has to be that balance. If you give, it will come. But you need to give constantly to all those around you. And it is happening. You're going to have some people that come into your lives in order to help you this week. There could be a male and a female that you meet this week that may be very helpful. There could be a new boss perhaps or a boss that offers you a new direction. You may want to take it. There could be a male also that offers a new direction. You may want to take that as well. Whatever comes your way, whatever you're being offered or directed to do, try it and see if it doesn't open up a whole new can of worms for you. <laughs> For some of you, there's going to be new romance that comes into your life, so keep keep aware of your surroundings. There could be a new person that steps into your life, as I am getting a card here that says, Romance! Cupid arrow strikes! So, boom! You might meet someone that's very interesting this week, or someone may communicate to you about love. For those of you that are in a relationship, you're getting the healing card. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. Again, we did get a card where Raphael says, I'm healing you and the ones that you love. So if you have been having a riff with your loved one, uh, family member, children, grandchildren, or significant romantic partner, the healing is coming. Ask for it. Open your heart so that you can see it. You can feel it happening in your life. Because at this very moment, Raphael is working with you in order to heal it. Call upon Raphael because he is a beautiful and wonderful energy that will flow through you. You're going to have a lot of clarity of mind this week, a lot of clarity in your thoughts and your communication. Be aware of your communication with others. Be aware of any paperwork or anything that you need to sign this week or that is being presented to you. Make sure that you read it before you sign it. Make sure that you know all the details of what's going on in your life and those around you. I do love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading and that you've listened to the water in the background. I'm going to let it go for a couple more minutes so that you can hear it. Let's see if I can better position it so you can see it. Oops, that didn't help.